And now for podcast number two, we bring you DJ Jesse. I'm Tim King. Welcome, Jesse. It's great to have you on the podcast. I know you have a tasty topic today. <laughs> Hi, Tim. Yes, I am actually having some tasty topic because I had some uh, one of my favorite childhood. Um, I think it would be called snack. Do you know fermented rice, the black and white one? Black and white fermented rice. Um, mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you should try it. Um, people make them into wine, but this one is like, you know, not too far into the wine part yet. But yes, you could have them. And it is just sticky rice and fermented it. Oh, are they considered alcoholic? A little bit. If you check the alcohol, I think I never... Oh, I should check that. That's a good idea. Could you Could you get drunk on those? Yes, depend on how long the rice been fermented, you know. Oh, okay. I see. Now, <laughs> what do you call that in Khmer? It's called tapai. Tapai. Yes. I'll be, I'll be careful with those. Yeah, you should. <laughs> do you eat this at a certain time of year? Is it one of those snacks? No, it's um, it's a little hard to find nowadays. When I was like little child, it seemed to be everywhere, you know, with the lady on with a basket on her head and just go around and like, you know, announcing what she's selling. It's just like to buy, to buy all the time. But now it's a little bit tough to find this, this snack because um, it's, to be honest, could classify as a hard to make kind of snack. Because if you're not fermented it right, it could be, um, you know, rotten and oh. it may turn into a vine instead. Okay. All right. Well, what other snacks are on your list for today? Oh, actually, I have one more, which is kind of funny, but it used to be this kind of motorbike with a tuk-tuk at the back, and they have this machine, and you just walk out with the rice and a little bit of sugar, and they pour the rice into this machine, and they create this kind of rice cake, really long, like a rice cake stick. And yes, it's really fascinating to just look at the machine, how, you know, this you know, how they make the rice cake. Mm -hmm. Because it's poured into this tiny hole, the rice you gave them, and then they create like tons and tons of it. You could just bring like one, a, I could say a palm full of the rice. Mm -hmm. And then it turned to be this ginormous bag. You might have to, you know, hold two people to just bring back the cake, you know. Wow. Yeah, really <laughs> fascinating. Does it come out hot or cold? Yes, it's actually hot. Mm. But not hot for long. It's not like, it's just like when you come out right from the machine, it's hot. But then if you leave it like maybe a couple of seconds, it's, you know, just like those cold, sticky rice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost like sticky rice. Oh, but okay. yes, that's what I had when I was tiny. Wow. Okay. But more like, not really about the cake, but more like looking at how it made is mm. actually the thing. That's the fun part, watching it be made. Yep. Well, let's see. In my hometown, where I come from, mm -hmm. over in the, in the USA, yeah, you can say it's like a tourist town. Mm -hmm. And there's one shop that one of my classmates, uh, his family owned this shop, and they sold saltwater taffy. Oh, okay. I've heard of it. Yeah. And they actually had one of their machines in the front mm -hmm. window. On display, and that's where they actually made uh, their taffy. Wow, interesting! I never, I don't think I ever had taffy before, though. Yeah, it's really good taffy. You know, like what was that song, Laffy Taffy? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, but anyways, taffy is um, oh, it's really yummy. It's kind of mm -hmm. sticky. It's probably not good for your teeth. Very sugary. <laughs> but okay. It, they come in different flavors, so you can. Mm -hmm. You have your basic taffy, and then they add flavors into the mix. You know, uh, the machine's kind of cool because it, it kind of winds the taffy and, uh -huh. and spins it, basically. And, and that's yeah. how you get your... Then they pull it, and it kind of stretches. Mm -hmm. And then finally, oh. you know, they get it to stretch about the width of your finger. And then that's when they cut them mm -hmm. into little pieces. Okay. I think I saw them on the internet, maybe on like one of those... You know, in videos, I think, making candies and all the stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's fun watching them make the taffy. Now, mm -hmm. of course, then they put the wrappers on and they go in jars. So you go into the, the shop part 
of the uh, store. And mm -hmm. they just have rows and rows and shelves of all the different types of taffy, each one having its own jar. So you kind of go around and pick out the taffies that you like and get a bunch. And I think they sold it by the pound. Oh, interesting. Mm, yeah. I have a question. Mm. You say it's sea, sea, sea salt taffy? Is that what the name again? Um, salt water taffy. Oh, does it taste like salty? Uh, no. I, Why it's named sea? Oh, it's I water. don't know. I mean, we did, it, you know, that town, it's on the sea coast. I don't know. Maybe uh -huh. they used, maybe they used salt water in some part of the preparation. I'm, I'm not really sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> So that was um, taffy. That was always a, a good little, well, you know, it's more of a sweet than a snack. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you have a lot of taffy nowadays? No, like zero. Zero? Yeah. Wow. I think um, next time I go back to the United States, I'll probably, maybe I'll bring some back with me. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> mm, that would be good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, actually, there was a lot of candy makers mm -hmm. um, in our area. I don't know. It wasn't famous for that. I think they were more famous for, like, fishing and artists. Uh -huh. They had lots of, uh, I don't know, artists like to go and live there for some reason. Maybe it's a fun town. Maybe it's really sightseeing or something. No. Well, I think it's because no. of the seaside. There's a lot of things to paint. So I see. They go there and paint the seaside and other things. and Yeah. Kind of an artist type place. Mm -hmm. Um, there are one more things. We all we have mangoes, like mangoes with salt and chili. Mm. And I don't know, maybe you never said this to the listener, but you always said it to us. You're not a mango guy. I'm not a mango guy. <laughs> I like the flavor, but I don't like the uh -huh. the pieces unless it's like a sweet, sweet mango. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, regular mango, yeah, I can't take that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe you didn't have a good salt and chili yet? Hmm. And I probably <laughs> won't either because now I'm I'm trying to cut down on my salt. Oh, yeah, yeah, correct. Uh, that would lower my cholesterol, I'm hoping. Mm-hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, other snacks to have. Well, another thing I had when we were kids was something mm -hmm. called... a. Uh, a Joe Frogger. Joe Frogger. Joe wow. Frogger. Yeah, That's there was cool. this one place in the town that made this special cookie. And the cookie was really big. Mm -hmm. It was like, you know, oh. as big as your hand. And if you're a kid, it was bigger wow. than your hand. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they made it of. May have been some type of ginger flavored cookie. Ginger? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I almost forgot about ginger snaps. Ginger snap. Okay, that sounds cool. I don't think I had it too. Those are like flat little wafer cookies. Oh, and they're, okay. And they're sweet um, and they have a ginger flavor. Oh, wow. You like ginger flavor? In particular, ginger snaps. They are yummy and they're great to have with tea or coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Or you can stick them in ice cream because they add crunch. Oh, I see. You know, because they're kind of thin. Okay, maybe I had them, but I'm not sure about the name, you know. I don't think people go around and tell you the name of that particular, you know, things. Yeah, you may <laughs> not know they were ginger snaps. Yeah. Oh, sugar cookies. Sugar cookie. Mm-hmm. Sugar cookies. No, I don't have them. Never had those? Yeah, it's like sugar. <laughs> no, wait, the chocolate cookies? like. Mm, no, these are kind of like, um, they're like white Colored cookies. Mm-hmm. And, of course, when you cook them, they tend to yellow a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. I think they're just basic cookies made with, like, flour and egg, and uh, but they add a lot of sugar in it. And it comes out as a sugar cookie. My friend used to bring them to school. Mm -hmm. His mom would make them at her house. They didn't buy them. She would make them. Mm -hmm. And at lunchtime, I was always kind of looking over at my friend and... Mm -hmm. Seeing if he was going to finish all of his sugar <laughs> cookies. And if not, if he wasn't, if he didn't appear to be eating them all, I would say, oh, you're going to eat those last two sugar cookies? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. Yeah, he was a nice guy. So he would, 
Yeah, mm-hmm. he would usually give me a couple of sugar cookies. Yeah, I did the same thing when, like, I see. I think my friend used to have like a lot of snacks to school, and then yeah, that's what I do. I would ask them, "Where you gonna finish all of them?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah well, that's what I do. Yeah, I was always hungry, <laughs> even after eating my meal. Uh, it's good actually to have a little snacks, and maybe it's it's more like dessert after food, right? Yeah, these are kind of like after you eat your sandwich or your soup or mm-hmm. whatever it is for your meal. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. The other kind of snacks that I like would be I don't know, like nuts. I guess nuts. Mm-hmm. Oh, what kind of nuts? Oh, maybe trail mix. Oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was. Trail mix a couple weeks ago. Trail mix day. Mm -hmm. So that would be a mix of different types of nuts, peanuts, Mm -hmm. cashews, and I don't know, like little seed type things or whatever you want in there. Maybe some raisins as well, even though technically those aren't nuts. But but that would be a trail mix type thing. And those are good because you can just carry them in a little pouch in your pocket or your backpack and they stay good. While you're out walking, you can just grab a little in your hand and, and munch on your yeah. trail mix. It's that is it the same as cereal? Not really. Cereal is more like, I don't know, like cornflakes. Mm-hmm. Although cereal could have nuts and stuff in there. Um mm-hmm. raisins or whatever. But cereal yeah. is designed more to put in a bowl and pour in some milk and <gasps> eat it with a spoon. I mean, you could also put just like what you did with, you know, you could also, you don't have to put them in the bowls. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, well, you could add some cereal into your trail mix. Is that what you mean? (gasps) Yes. Oh, yeah, you could. Absolutely. Some cornflakes or whatever. Mm Yeah. You could make trail mix, you know, as long as it's something you can stick in the bag and kind of munch on, just grab some and uh, munch on it. Yep. Yeah, talking about it, I'm actually here with this package of fruits and nuts, healthy oh. breakfast cereals. I think someone gave it to me. I'm not sure who. But yeah, they have a mix of a lot of things in there. Seem mm. to be there, like what we're just talking, you know, both of the cereals and um, what's again? The one you had? Uh, trail mix? Trail mix. Trail mix. Yeah, I think they are mixed together. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Like, I love cereal, but I don't think of it as a snack because you kind of have to prepare it with milk and yeah, got to have your spoon. Whereas trail mix, well, of course, people who go camping will mm-hmm. usually have a bag of trail mix, which, you know, they can eat on the way. Yeah. Especially when you're hiking, you need a little bit of energy, mm-hmm. you're tired, munch sure. some of that trail mix and you're, you're back good on the trail. Yeah, good to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like an advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> Was that like specific brands that you would like to have? Mm. Or no, there's no really a brand. It's just a mix. I don't think there's a particular brand, you know. Mm-hmm. Depends on how prepared you are. You could buy some trail mix at the supermarket or just make mm-hmm. your own. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's cool. Okay, there's another thing that I prepped, but we kind of pass it. Oh. It's the Moon Festival period. Oh, that was just uh, the other week, right? Yeah, it was, I think, last Friday. Okay. Yeah, there are many kind of moon cake, like so many times. I don't know, did you have any of the moon cake? Before? I had um, two two types. Two types? Yeah. Which did you? Well, there were these little squares with some sort of mm, something on the inside, very smooth and kind of yummy. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Little brown squares. Brown squares? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I had the little round ones that have a red... <laughs> They're kind of white with a little red tattoo on them. Oh, okay. What's inside? They're filled with like bean curd or something. <gasps> okay. I think that's red bean moon cake. Maybe that's the one. I think so, yeah. They're mm-hmm. still on sale. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah. I just looked at some the last time I was at the supermarket and um, yeah, they had a whole bunch there, but I'm on a diet. So I thought, oh, I, I shouldn't eat those. They're probably fattening. Yeah. This one is really like they contain a lot of oil, and uh, I think they have even have like I don't know, so like well, fat. How do we call them? Just fat from the animal. No, you're not just veggie fat, you know. Oh, animal fat. Yeah, 
there's something about that to add into the mooncake to make it taste good. Oh. Yeah. Oh, how about um, fried bananas? Fried banana? Mm. Fried banana. Wait. Fried bananas. Yeah, like here in Cambodia, you guys have fried bananas, right? Oh, it's deep fried. I see. Okay, I was like lost for one second. Wait, fried banana? <laughs> deep fried bananas, I guess. Okay. Yeah. I, I haven't oh, had them all- for a while, but they're good. Mm-hmm. It is actually good. But don't have too much, though. It's really not healthy. Oh, too much oil. Yeah, lots of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, let's see. What else for snacks? Um, mm. Hmm. Now, um, you tend to have a lot of coffee. I don't know about snack you have now, though. Yeah, that's more of a a beverage. It's mm, not quite yeah. a snack, but it's a between meal beverage, I guess. You could call but it normally, that. people will have something with coffee. You know, what do you have with coffee? Oh, with coffee, with coffee, I like to have like a croissant. Oh. Or some crackers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any With kind cheese? of cookie that you could dip would be good, too. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, you oh. probably, in. I think after checkout, that might be tough on you because I don't think you would have them, right? You would cut down on that. Yeah, I'll be cutting down on that. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what else is good to dip in your coffee? And it? and it could be considered a snack, I think. Kind of yeah. a heavy snack. Donuts. Donuts, mm-hmm. I see. We don't have a lot of donut shops here, do we? Oh, I don't know. I found quite a few. Oh, that's great. I would ask you for where the location is because oh, uh, I don't. Well, maybe not strictly donuts, although mm-hmm. Big Apple is one. Uh huh. Big Apple yeah, Donut ha- Shop. Mm-hmm. There's an American Donut Shop. They sell all kinds of other stuff too, but. But then a lot of bakeries and restaurants will have donuts on the menu, especially like a cafe. Mm, okay, I right? see. I yeah. tried to check some of them. Oh, Eon Supermarket. Oh, they do have that too? Yeah, you know, like a Eon Supermarket. They've got a whole bakery section there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't been there for a while now. I totally yeah. forgot they have bakery there. Like- yeah. <laughs> There's the Two Le Jour. They'll have some donuts there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, plenty of places to get your donut fix. Although, like I said, I'm on a diet. <sighs> yeah, oh, that's just tough. Just when we're coming out of COVID, I got to go on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sad. It's sad. I've been dreaming about going to, you know, my favorite cafe or donut shop and indulging. Mm-hmm. And now I'm just like, oh. no. I think you're in good position. Maybe like, um, maybe a while after this. You'll be going back to have, you know, some of those tasty snacks. Hope so. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not going to go cold turkey. I'm not going to completely mm-hmm. quit. I'm yeah. going to probably this Sunday, I may actually have a donut because this last week, mm-hmm. uh, one day it was yeah, a Boston cream donut day. <gasps> wow. That sounds tasty. Those are really good. If they have one. If not, I could go for a chocolate frosted or a cinnamon twist or maybe a strawberry frosted or the old fashioned simple jelly donut, blueberry donut, glazed donut. Wow. It's a lot of donuts that you could have. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's so many tastes. Like there's so many many flavors. Mm, Yeah. Wow. I'll see. So we don't have, we talk about like, okay, this time you had this snacks and that snacks, but. When was the time you think you had the most snack of all time? Most snacks of all time? Yeah, like that's the period you have a lot of snack compared to any other time. Hmm. I'm not really sure because snacks are always between meals. So Always? So you always have snacks between meals? Well, um, seems to be the thing to do. <laughs> okay. Especially in all Cambodia. Right. You know, when I drive mm-hmm. around, I always see somebody snacking on something. Yeah, that's true, though. (laughs) Yeah, everywhere I go, people are, you know, I mean, if they're not busy doing something, Mm -hmm. they can be on the back of the motorcycle having a snack there and a drink at the same time. Wow. Um, Yeah, (laughs) people are always (laughs) snack. It seems to me people really enjoy snacking in Cambodia. Yes, actually, it's true, but they're different kind of snacks. I don't know, do you get, you con- t- consider mangoes and chilies and salt a snack too? I think so, because, 
you know, it's, I mean, what is a snack? It's just some food that you eat Mm -hmm. aside from your main meal and not as a dessert, because that would be dessert. I mean, Mm -hmm. a snack could be a dessert and a dessert could be a snack. Yeah. I think a snack is basically you you have it when you're uh, between your meals. So if you have lunch at 12, Mm -hmm. you might have Mm -hmm. a snack at three and then dinner at six. Yeah. Mm. And last week, I think you're only snacking on banana. Yeah, only snacking on bananas. That was it. Although this week I had some crackers. Oh, okay. I see. Because I ate all the bananas. Well, (laughs) true. You can't just cut everything out right away. No, no. And you see, I I ate all the bananas. Then I went to the supermarket and I forgot to buy the bananas. So I got home. I'm like, ah. I forgot yeah. the bananas. Bananas are a great snack. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, changing the topic a little bit mm-hmm. uh, as we move along here, it's getting a little late. So yep. I wanted to ask you mm-hmm. um, about Chloe's topic. <gasps> okay. Attack on Titan. Mm-hmm. Do you know anything about Attack on Titan? I watch it until I think um, season four. I'm not sure. Oh, so you do know about Attack on Titan. I do. Chloe actually dragged me into it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys saw the movie. Oh, um, the movie? No, I skip it because by oh. season four, I'm kind of like, eh, I don't like how it goes. So oh. I stop. Okay. Yeah, they do have a lot of twists and turns in that. Uh, yes. In the storyline. Too many. <laughs> All right. So you, okay. So you, you're kind of, you've been into it, but you didn't continue. Yeah. Mm, I stop it mm. at, I don't know, when they kind of turned old, I think. When they were like teenager kids, it was all like, you know, something to follow, something to, you know, questions and looking forward to. And then when they turn old, there too many twists. I think I kind of lost the storyline, so mm-hmm. no more. Oh, okay. Yeah, Chloe had mentioned um, in our last podcast that uh, mm-hmm. they do have a lot of twists and turns in the storyline that gives people a headache. <laughs> yeah, I think she told me that um, she watched an interview for the with the writer um, of this Attack on Titan, and his goal is actually to make people sad. Oh, really? Yeah. So hmm. I'm like, mm mm, mm mm. That's a lousy goal. Yeah, that's weird. Why? Hmm. Why would you want people to be sad? <laughs> yeah, that's... Well, yeah, some people are twisted like that. They get twisted. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Oh, talking about... Um, that's like Japanese anime, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Japanese. Uh, I, yeah? Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Is it actually Japanese? Because the, the names, character, the way they dress and everything... Well, what should I say? It doesn't look like Japanese. Oh, really? Yes. Hmm. But I think um, they made it into a manga, which we all know manga is actually a thing from, you know, Japan. So I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm not sure with him. <laughs> Let's see. Well, I think it, yeah, I from what I'm reading, it does seem to be uh, a Japanese, you know, anime. At least the animated part. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> Yeah, if you look at some of the names of the characters here, uh-huh. uh, not the English names, but uh, Yuki Kaji, Hiroshi Kamiya, uh-huh. uh, Yui Ishikawa, they sound Japanese, I think. Yeah, these sound Japanese, but the main character doesn't sound Japanese, though. Oh, what's his name again? I think it's Jaeger. Yeah, oh, yeah. See, now that, I think, is the other name. He's got mm. a, a Japanese name, Yuki <gasps> Kaji. Okay, I have no idea about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, Attack on Titan. Uh, mm-hmm. Chloe's the expert. She knows all about it. We'll have to ask her yeah. next time. Yeah. You could tune into the previous podcast to actually listen more. Oh, she's yeah. Explaining. Podcast one. This is podcast two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, by the time the podcast comes out, some people may have already seen um, a movie that's in theaters here in Phnom Penh. The quintessential quintuplets oh okay have you, have you heard about this japanese anime <laughs> i think i went to check in some movie yesterday i think i saw it oh yeah but I... probably coming soon yeah mm-hmm. 
So it's in theaters on the 15th. Um, oh. So depending on when the podcast is out. Hey, you may have seen it already. Yeah. 15th of September? Mm, let's see. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow is 16th of September. 16th. Yeah. It's out tomorrow on the 16th. Because yeah. we're doing this podcast. Oh. We're recording this on the 15th of September. Yeah, exactly. Are you going to watch it? Uh, probably not. Oh, uh, okay. I yeah. See. This is, I don't know. It seems more like a girly type one. <gasps> really? Well, I mean, you got this guy at the school. He's a tutor. Uh huh. And there's five girls oh. who he has to choose from to get married to. Okay, sounds like not uh, not not for me too. I think <laughs> it's not like Attack on Titans. There's a lot of violence and blood and gore and yep. stuff. You know, That's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> this is more That's like more fun. yeah, relationship drama. Mm. Oh, okay. Nah, it's a no for me. <laughs> Some other movies that will be in theaters, um, I don't know, we're just on movies for some reason, but Avatar, <laughs> they're going to show the first Avatar here in Phnom Penh. Really? When is that? 23rd of September. Oh, wow. That's close. Just a week. Yeah. Because the second Avatar movie, I believe, is going to be released in December. Oh, I see. Oh, wait. So this one is the first movie, the Avatar? That's right. In case you missed it. Uh Okay, I see. I think I've watched it oh. on HBO or something. Way. Yeah. Probably you want to see it at the movie theater because it's in 3D. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's interesting. It's pretty cool. I saw it yeah. two times uh, when it first came out. Oh, you're a big <laughs> fan then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. The director is James Cameron, mm-hmm. who directed Titanic. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't know that. Mm hmm. Yeah, Rose and Jack. <laughs> Rose and Jack, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see now. Oh, there was one more snack topic. Uh-huh. Snacks at work. Oh. Okay, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so we have experience with this. Yeah. Snacks at work. Some companies don't allow you to have snacks. It's true. Hmm. <laughs> That's sad. Yeah, that is a little sad. Yeah, for me, mm-hmm. I prefer... To allow people to have snacks, like, at Mm -hmm. their desk or wherever. Yeah. As long as they're not too smelly. True. Right? Mm Mm-hmm. Because if it's too smelly, you might disturb other people while working. Yeah. Even us, if someone had some smelly food, we wouldn't want to be around, right? Yeah. And then your boss is going to come in and say, this is an office, not a restaurant. (laughs) True. (laughs) (laughs) That could happen. Um, Yeah, that could happen. (laughs) Um, my god so what kind of smelly snacks are there that might you know you may not want to have at the office oh um so the stream paste you know stream paste right no you don't know stream paste okay now we're back to the mango things again Mm. mangoes and all the sour stuff where we have it as a snack because it's kind of waking us up they're provided with many kind of you know the sauce not doesn't have to be salt and chili. There's shrimp paste. There's fish fish salt. Oh, okay, okay. I got you now. Yeah, that's the one. That's really smelly. Is that like a fermented fish sauce? Yes. Ooh, yuck. The fish sauce is one, but then there's shrimp. They fermented the shrimp. Oh. And that one smelled worse. Wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, in a good way to me because it's, Smell tasty? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, if, as far as eating it goes, that's great. Yeah. But in the office, you probably don't want to have it because mm. it's a little, yeah, s- little sure. stinky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What would be stinky for you? Like, if people brought it into the office, you'd be like, no, no. Um, Probably that durian fruit. <gasps> uh-huh. I don't like the smell of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I like, well... The smell, well, I don't know how to put it because I like durian, so I don't mind the smell. I'm not going to mention what I think it smells like, but Um. (laughs) I don't know. It smells like durian, which doesn't smell good to me. Um, (laughs) Now, here's a question for you. Did -hmm. you ever bring snacks into class and try to (gasps) hide them while you were eating them from the teacher? That's my um, regular basic stuff. <laughs> we do that all the time. Oh, really? So how would you, like, hide your snacks from the teacher? 
you know, normally we have to get to be back in the class before the teacher arrives. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's why it's just like no one checking you when you walk into the class. So it's just like we have this little drawer under a table, which meant for the books, but we don't really keep the books there. We keep them in our bags somewhere else. And then underneath the drawer, like underneath the table, is all our snacks. Oh, I see. From mango to candy to anything. There's nuts and stuff too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. And nobody ever checks those, huh? Um, well, that time, actually that time that they checked them, they just, teacher really smart. That's why they're teacher. They just walk back, <laughs> you know, to the whole, the whole, I mean, the whole way to the back of the class and they could see everything in your drawer. Ah, okay. Right. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> and but then, yeah, we hide them behind books. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad. I'm like telling you all the bad stuff from school. Oh, that's okay. There's all <laughs> kinds of school stories. How about the stories of the teacher who made the students buy their snacks? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yeah. The teacher yeah, That's a lot of that too. <laughs> a little added extra income for the teacher. It's like yeah. you have to buy the teacher's snacks, otherwise mm. it's not gonna be good. Wait, where did you hear this from? <laughs> where did you hear this from? I forget who told me that story, but yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's happening even to me. Like because the teacher said, the teacher said, if you don't buy it, we, you know, they won't give us good score. And we're like, <laughs> no, that is so bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then we always save some money. It's like, okay, this is for the teacher snack. This is for breakfast. You know. <laughs> wow, that's tough. Uh, yeah, that's tough. That's happened. <laughs> At first, I was like, that's so rotten. But then I thought, well, I guess maybe they don't get paid much and they just need some extra income. Yes, true, true. But I don't think they should link it to bad scores because that's, mm -hmm. that's not fair. Just say, hey, you know, buy my snacks. I need some extra money, kids. Yeah, that's good. That's you good know. enough, though. <laughs> mm. Well, um, let's see. Any other snap snack topics for this uh, podcast today? Add a snack. Actually, there's so many snacks, but one that I could remember most likely will be um, not one that not appear to be selling a lot now anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like the fermented rice or the the rice cake that came out of the machines. And what else we have? Hmm. You know, I remember eating little tiny Cambodian donuts oh. with chocolate on them. Cambodian donuts? Yeah. Because they were different than regular donuts that I would get back in America. They were tiny. Uh -huh. And they were a little more solid. Uh -huh. uh, they weren't quite cooked the same way. But they were little donuts with chocolate on them. And, you know, someone would come by with a basket on their head selling them. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, well, because donuts everywhere to me here is donuts. Because, to be honest, they don't look different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but it tastes different though. Yeah, but pretty good. I used to buy them. Oh, Krispy oh. Kreme. Ah, okay, Krispy Kreme. Another donut place, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Oh, and I think they have a Dunkin' Donuts at the airport, if I'm not mistaken. In the airport. Yeah, it's too far away, Tim. Well, actually, close to my place, but I never thought about that. <laughs> well, yeah, those are, I guess they would be considered the fancy kind of place to go buy mm -hmm. uh, some donuts. But, you know, like in America, they're not considered fancy. Oh. Actually, a lot of people do a drive through So they'll be on the way to work and they'll just, there'll be a, a Dunkin' Donuts, you know, mm -hmm. on the street. And they just drive up the driveway. Mm -hmm. And then there's a little box and you, you roll down your window and you make the order. Mm -hmm. And then you keep driving around the building to the other side, and they have your order, and you pay, and mm -hmm. off you go. That's easy. Yeah, you never get out of your car. Yeah, that's great. You could if you want, but that's a typical thing that happens every morning. Uh, well, any time of day, actually. Oh, I've seen a lot of policemen, maybe only in the movie. They, t they tend to have a lot, like, more donuts compared to other people. This is, yeah, this is typical in, in movies. Oh. Cops and donuts. Not outside. Uh, cops and donuts anywhere, pretty much. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I thought only in movies people make cops eat only donuts. Oh, 
No, they just, um, yeah, no, it's a typical American type uh, snack food. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, interesting. We don't have a lot of Thai through here, though. No, I wish they had some more, though. But you know what? They have this thing where you call them beforehand, and then when you go past their place, you know, by certain time, and then they just, you know, you just let them know, I'm here, and then they just walk out and they hand you the order. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not mm-hmm. quite the same as the drive through though. Yeah, it's not the same. Mm. I guess there's no mics and stuff. Well, <laughs> it's a little different, yeah. And, and of course, like uh, McDonald's, they've got drive throughs for all the fast food places. Oh. Yeah, McDonald's, Burger King, and all these other mm-hmm. fast food places. That's cool. <laughs> Do you ever work at one of those places? Mm. My first job was at a restaurant slash bakery. I think I, I must have been 14 because that is the legal age when you can get paid to work. <laughs> oh, nice. And um, yeah, this is my hometown. So me and my friend in the summertime, we got jobs as dishwashers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did that as my first job too. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you know, I tell you, it was it was a tough job actually because <gasps> they would give us these pans with like the muffin pans were the worst because they had little tiny holes for the muffins. Oh, okay. They would bake the muffins in those, and the bottom part was all baked in bits of the muffins. Cleaning them was really tough. That was tough work. Yeah. No, I only did the job, like, for my family or relative. (laughs) Oh, okay. Yeah, so that wasn't that tough. I was still happy, though, because I got a bunch of money. (laughs) Oh, interesting. (laughs) Yeah. Money! (laughs) Actually, there was another dishwasher that could have helped us, but... That, mm-hmm. that guy, he was he was older, a little heavy, uh-huh. and he would like he'd kind of disappear into the bathroom with the newspaper, <laughs> and he wouldn't come out for like thirty, forty minutes. <laughs> oh, and we were like, what? How does? Uh, how can he do that? We're working. He's sitting in the toilet <laughs> reading the paper. <laughs> well, that's gonna be bad for him. Sitting too long in in the restroom is no good. I guess no. I guess not. Anyways, <laughs> we and, were kind of mad at him. It was like, oh, yeah, a lot of work to do here. We got work. And he got paid the same thing, right? He probably got paid more because he was <gasps> older. We were just kids. Oh, yeah, I guess because he'd been there longer. That's why he could spend time in the restroom. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess we all deal with some people like that. They just disappear yeah. for a long time. And it's like, whoa, whoa where'd so-and-so go? Where's he been? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, okay. So, I think that's all from me. Well, thanks for being here today on the Love FM podcast, Jesse. Well, now, before uh, we let you go, when might we hear you on the radio? Um, Actually, I could be in the morning from 9 to 11 or 6 to 8 in the evening, but not every day. Okay. Right now, you're on a relaxed schedule, right? Yes. <laughs> but before you were doing every day, pretty much. Yep. Before I'm like every day. You probably hear me anytime. <laughs> All right. And uh, friends who've tuned into the podcast, thank you for listening. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you for another podcast. This is podcast number two. It was so much fun being with you today, Jesse.